Much Ado About Nothing. Let us read this drama to know what the messenger of Pedro has to announce about his master's arrival at Messina and how Claudio's life changes when he arrives with Pedro. Leonato, Hero and Beatrice are in a garden outside Leonato's estate. They enter the stage and the messenger comes on stage from left. All are dressed in colorful costumes. According to this letter, Don Pedro of Aragon is coming to Messina tonight with his army. Don Pedro must be very near by now. I left him less than nine miles from here. How many noblemen were slain in the battle you just fought? Has any one of importance been slain? Not many were slain and none of importance lost. A victory in battle is twice as victorious when all the soldiers return home safely. According to this letter, Don Pedro has honored Claudio from Florence. Yes, that is true. Claudio is worthy to be honored and Don Pedro has rewarded him accordingly. Claudio has done more than anyone would. Imagine of a man his age. He looks like a lamb but fights like a lion. He has so greatly surpassed all expectations that it is difficult to list all he has done. He has an uncle here in Messina who will be glad to hear this news. I have already delivered some letters from Claudio to his uncle. His uncle was very happy to read them. In fact, he got so emotional that he actually looked like he was in pain. Did he start weeping? Yes, he was crying quite heavily. That is normal. Tears are nature's way of showing affection. They show sincerity. Anyway, it is better to cry in happiness than to laugh in sadness. Please tell me, is Signor Montanto back from the battle? I do not know anyone named Signor Montanto. Madam, as far as I remember, there is no one named Signor Montanto in our army. Who are you talking about, niece? My cousin means Signor Benedict of Padua. Oh, yes. Benedict has returned and is as cheerful as ever. Benedict once put up a public notice in Messina challenging Cupid to an archery match. My uncle's jester accepted the contest on Cupid's behalf but used toy arrows at the shooting match. But tell me, how many men did he kill and eat in this battle? You see, we have a wager going on. I promise to eat anyone he killed. Beatrice, stop criticizing Signor Benedict. He has a way of getting even with the people who do so. Signor Benedict has performed well in the war, my lady. You had rotten food and he helped you eat it. He is a very brave eater. He has a strong stomach. He is a good soldier too, lady. He is a lord to a lord and a man to a man. He is positively stuffed with honorable virtues. I agree completely. He is stuffed like a dummy. The question of what he is stuffed with is better left unanswered. Well, nobody is perfect. Please do not be offended. My niece and Benedict have been at each other's throats for a long time now. A battle of wits takes place whenever they meet. And I always win. By the end of the last battle, his intelligence reached the level of intelligence possessed by a dimwit. So tell me, who is he hanging around with these days? He has this practice of changing best friends every month. Is that even possible? Yes, it is. He is incredibly fickle. His affection changes faster than the latest fashions. I can see you do not like this gentleman. Of course. Did I not make that clear? But, back to the question. Who is his new best friend? He spends most of his time with the good, noble Claudio, my lady. Oh no, poor Claudio. He was such a nice, promising man. And now he has got Benedict. Benedict is an infection that is very easy to catch but almost impossible to cure. God help poor Claudio. If he has got the Benedict, then he will lose all his money before getting cured. My lady, I promise to always stay on your good side. Do that, my friend. Do not worry. You will never catch the Benedict, my niece. No, absolutely not, unless the sun starts rising in the west. Don Pedro is here. My dear Signor Leonato, you are an amazing man. Normally, 
people avoid trouble and here you are running to it hosting my whole army is such a huge burden but you accept it and me with open arms you will never be a burden in this house your grace it is comforting to see trouble depart but on leaving you take away happiness and leave sorrow in its place i have never met a man who takes his duties as cheerfully as you do claudio benedict my dear friend leonato has invited you all to stay here at messina i told him that we will stay for at least a month he answered that he hopes we will stay longer i think he is actually serious and not just being polite i am being serious my lord i welcome you here as well now that you and your brother have made friends again i owe you the same allegiance i owe don pedro thank you i am a man of few words but i thank you if it pleases you your highness will you lead us all inside give me your hand leonato we will go in together benedict did you notice signor leonato's daughter no i saw her but i did not notice her she is such a well-mannered young lady what do you want my genuine appraisal we are friends speak plainly to me you asked for it she is too short to be praised highly too dark to be praised fairly and too small to be praised greatly i can only say this about her if she looked different than she does she would be ugly and since she can't be anything but herself i don't like her